<clears throat> Good evening, everyone. So, uh, hey, guys. We're back. We're doing this one a little bit different. We miss Linda. Huh? So we're doing this one a little bit different. We have no topic for tonight. Oh, no, we don't. That's right. <laughs> but I well, want to mention something. We do have something coming up this week. And it's on Tuesday. Someone's turning to 31. Happy birthday, Miss Toxic. Thank you. <laughs> We get that out there. Let everybody know. As of right now, I'm only 11 years older than her. <laughs> yep, this Tuesday is my birthday. Oh, very good. And I think we're doing something Saturday to celebrate that birthday. We are. What are we doing? We are going to the old Kosciuszko County Jail. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Got it slid in there on the last minute going, hey, can we do this? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got it. I'm going to try to do this without my eyeballs. So I see that. <laughs> <laughs> may or may not make it through this podcast without my glasses. I slipped my, my contacts in. Are, so. you, are you wearing the team shirt? You're kidding me. We've done this like almost every day this week. Wore the same kind, same shirt. Yeah. Yep. I plan on just wearing this tomorrow since I've only been wearing it for maybe an hour. So yeah. no, 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 no sense of throwing this in the washer. Yeah. Uh oh. I got big plans for tomorrow. Whoopee. It's cold. If you're not up here in northern Indiana, I know it's colder oh. other places. But this girl, she spent too much time in Key West, and I'm freezing. And oh, I'm freezing. not my time. <laughs> I'm freezing, and I have lived up here my whole life. So, yeah. So my nails, they change color after they got set. I bet they did. I like the color. If it's like a cold. Like if my if they're colder, they're like a lighter blue, but like if they're warmer, they're like a darker blue. Oh, you have that. Oh, that's cool. So, so I'm gonna show off something. We have a guest tonight. You just can't see him. I can. <laughs> so back <Hi>. here, <laughs> back right there is a cat ball. He said he wanted to show off. So if you do see that going off, let me know. I cannot see it. So but that's Blake saying hello. Figured he would visit for the evening. Well, visit you guys, not visit me. He lives here. <laughs> so what else do we have? I mean, we're three and a half minutes in. All right. <laughs> um, it's been a while since we've been on. It has been, so a refresher for everybody, I guess. Um, I'm Linda, Toxic. I'm Sean Allen, yeah. <laughs> and we are Toxic Chaos Podcast. Um, our name has changed three times now. And Toxic Chaos Podcast, we have Jeremy York, the founder of Things Network, to thank for that one. Because we were talking to him one day um, last year, and he was like, I'm surprised you guys didn't do Toxic Chaos. So that's what the that's how the name Toxic Chaos Podcast came along. So thank you, Jeremy. And it's we just literally stuff. both looked at him and said, "What? Wait a minute. We didn't think about that. Nope. Because <laughs> it went from Paris Sisters Circle Podcast to Crossroads Encounters Podcast to Toxic Chaos Podcast, all with the years like span. Um, well, so this, yeah. Well, the one named the. And the Crossroad Encounters changed within like three weeks. We never even came live with that one, did we? Yeah, we did. We did. Yeah. See. Because we went on and talked about like all what like all the drama that happened and everything. And so and we did get a new logo for ice. So I mean, I well, can't really see it. 
Yeah, we just decided we are starting fresh with Indiana Crossroad Encounters. Um, I've actually got a few things booked for this year. I've got a show coming up in March that's Moonlit Crystals, but uh, I'm supporting my own team and I'm dragging her along. Say so we're going to Ohio, middle in Ohio, um, to do uh, Midwest Paranormal, I do believe is what it's called. I'll have to look it up. I don't have any notes and I've not looked at my calendar today. <laughs> I've been doing a lot. Um, I did book a hotel, guys. Here I am totally excited. It is not a Moonlit Crystals event. It is not an ice event. I am going to the Paranormal Bash in Gettysburg. Hotel booked. I've got, I've got it. And I've been looking at the calendar. So come July, the last week ended in July, I will be at Gettysburg for the Paranormal Bash. And of course, I'll be supporting Ice. I'll be wearing my stuff. I'm excited. And Linda and I are going to try to make the Ohio State Reformatory a bit. I We're not wait for that. a booth or a vendor. We're just going. It's Ohio State Reformatory. Yeah. <laughs> and that is a yeah. Tell me about it. <laughs> Tell me about it. I'm. I said if I couldn't get in there as a vendor because they're only doing like I think sixty vendors and they had over four hundred people, four hundred vendors apply, and they did a hat draw for them. So this is your type of vendor. This is this is this, and they did sixty hat, a sixty piece hat draw. So I didn't get in there for moonlit. My ass is getting in there to investigate. Hell yeah. <laughs> So, uh, what else do we have? Oh, we will be having, we will be at the Hannah House this year. Woo! We will Can't be Irish this year. So, those I are two see. events that Indiana Crossroad Encounters will have a booth. So, public events, come out and see us. Um, let's see. I'm planning a Kentucky trip to investigate. It's going to be a three day trip. So that's an investigation. Linda is going to hook us up with a two night sometime at the Moreau house. That's she says she's planning that. Yes, I am planning that. So I was waiting for it to be a little bit warmer before we go, because I mean, the Monroe house does have heat and everything. And it's an amazing location. I have actually seen some pretty, pretty shitty shit about the Monroe house. Um, you mm -hmm. probably seen it. Um, they posted about something about, I guess, I don't know exactly the whole story, but I've seen some pretty crappy stuff about it. And, um, that house is an amazing location. They're doing some amazing work to it. I've been there. Um, the first, I've been there, what, three times, <laughs> two, three times. And I people think, think, uh, no, I've been there with three. two with you. Yeah, I've been I've, there for no. you have, but I haven't. We were we were only together there once. Yeah. But so like with that location, guys, if you ever go to the Monroe House, which is down in Hartford City, Indiana, you can sit here and go off and say, you know, like, hold on, let me start my <laughs> let me start this because I'm gonna do a TikTok for my page. So give me one second, guys. I'm gonna do things at once. But anyway, hold on. Oh, Linda's doing TikTok for our podcast. I do believe she started one or we had one. But if you have, you want to get any information on that, she's the lady to get a hold of. Yeah, I'm going to finish doing that today. So, but, um, so like the location itself, if you guys go to this location and you guys try to go off by what other investigators or other people have said about this location, don't go off by that information because the house itself one day you could go and be it could be extremely crazy with activity and then the next day the next time you go there's nothing because people think that since all of us investigators have had some really awesome evidence um when me and shauna went when i had my old team we and everything we had some pretty amazing stuff but the previous time that i had went i barely had anything uh and after that i went it was all, it was just absolutely insane. I right. mean, 
we had noises coming out of the red room that like a dog was growling but it didn't work. <laughs> right so and like going off by what you know either me and Shauna or say or somebody else says about the location it doesn't exactly mean that you're gonna have this information so just if you go to the location guys make sure you have an open mind because that i mean it's an amazing location i love it i can't wait to go back i'm still planning it like i said they do have heat and everything but i would like to go i think with I lost. warmer just in case because like the porch area that's now opened up to the you know two investigators would not have heat and that's where um l and l and i said when we collaborated we had some really good evidence and we had two full body operations standing next to my ghost because he was there helping us and had trigger objects and unfortunately our assistant <laughs> our other team member <laughs> and so but yeah, it was just an amazing location and together. I'm still planning everything and I will keep an eye on the podcast page, keep an eye on uh, Indiana Crossroads page because it will be posted there. So, but I do have some more exciting news. I am going to be getting into my history more, um, doing more history and videos and stuff. So my next one's going to be about the Hannah house, which we're going to the Paranormal Day celebration. So I'm really excited about that. <laughs> And did you know no. that when we do our urban legends, the Hannah House. About that. Okay, so we're going to be doing a segment about our urban legends around Indiana, and probably we'll probably spread it out once we get done with Indiana. But you never know. We're going to bring in some of Things Network. So we're going to do yep. urban legends, and then we're going to bring in a, someone from Things Network, and they're going to tell us about urban legends around their areas. So it kind of opens things up right and the hannah house is part of that like uh, urban legends and stuff like that so yeah i'm really excited because it's going to all collaborate together with our podcast and our urban legends and my videos and my history so yeah the, i think we talked about i'm going to do more local where we're at like costco county and i think you wanted to do the whole of indiana right i just googled urban legends in indiana so yeah i just <laughs> Yeah, Linda's That's the way we work, though, guys. Yeah, like I mean, she's gonna take care of the whole state, and I'm gonna try to keep it to just like I'm in Syracuse, uh, Costco County, and Linda's in Claypool. So we're, I mean, we're actually 30 minutes away from each other. <laughs> right. And when we do our segment, I do have a urban legend and a little forkle urban legend for Claypool here. So then, because, well, guys, I grew up, like, I lived in Claypool once before by the cemetery and everything. When I was really younger, when I, when I finally realized I was different and got my first attachment. So, yeah. And then I came back to Claypool five years ago, almost six. So, yeah. Um, I do want to try something tonight. Not right now, because it's too early. But, you know, we had the first new moon of the year. The first what? New moon. Oh. You never did give me the rest of the information for that. Because it's all right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that. going to start doing a segment, either podcast before or after, whichever works. Probably the one right after um, of the new moon and the uh, full moons to kind of give you guys, I'm going to call it the moon report. So it's a little bit of my witchy ways. Yeah, that's something we're going to be doing. So we've got urban legends, serial killers across the pond. Um, Jaden can't wait for that one. He keeps asking me, are you guys going to do that one? Are you going to do that one? No, Bubba, not yet. So yeah, we'll get our schedule figured out and we'll let you guys know. We'll post it, the dates and everything. And keep an eye out for when we do our... Uh, we make our events for, like, how we do it for the podcast, so. We will put a calendar. I was thinking about running this by you. That one, because we always like, what are we doing this week? <laughs> oh, we have to post it. I figure starting in February, we will do the four week. Each week, we will beforehand post on our podcast page on Facebook, telling you what we're going to be doing that week. 
and that way we can stay up to date and you guys can stay up to date. So if you just want to tune in for serial killers across the pond, you'll know when it is. Right. And we write last- <laughs> <laughs> that's how we do things though. But yeah, that's that's a really good idea. Like we well, when we first started the podcast, we had that <clears throat> sorry guys, we had that planned out. That's what we were doing. That's what happened. <laughs> we celebrated a year in October and then we t- so much has happened in my life and in Linda's life. We took a back seat and new year new us. Yep. And oh my goodness, Chanel, did you have you realized? Okay guys, so if you guys have watched our show from the beginning, you all you know that we always always some type of technical difficulties oh, and you're gonna kill us i mean besides you freezing up a little bit this week but nothing major knock on wood i was gonna say girl <laughs> you're gonna kill us <laughs> it wouldn't be us though it wouldn't be our podcast if we didn't have some type of t- technical difficulties because that's just that's just us so well, this afternoon i freaked out because i didn't have internet they have knocked the internet out of the area because they were because it's minus 10 here and nobody's equipped for that even though we're up here in northern indiana so yeah i was all frantic going oh my god if my internet what am i gonna do ben's like just do it on your phone i go i hate doing it on my phone so i just i had a whole 10 minute freak out <laughs> oh, well. We might be doing this weekend. We might not. You never know with Toxic Chaos podcast, so. That's why it's Toxic and Chaos. <laughs> oh, yeah. We have been, I've talked to our friend at the K County Jail. We may or may not be hitting there. Every, in, I'm going to say this. We are going there in February as well. I had the Wicked Wiccan sisters get a hold of me and they would like to investigate with us there. So I'm going to Monday get a hold of my contact um, and set up another investigation. So we will have month, back-to-back months at the Kosciuszko County Jail. So uh, I'm excited. And we haven't investigated with the girls before. Yay! But, uh, I was talking with Nicole. Yeah, and, I mean, yes, let's do it. <laughs> Next weekend will be just me and Linda. I do believe we have a history live scheduled on Indiana Crossroad Encounters at 6.30. So next Saturday, 6.30, join Linda on her Kosciuszko, old Kosciuszko County Jail history walkthrough. So make sure you get on there. We're going to get there. And the first thing she is going to do is haul her cookies up to the top and take you all the way down with all her history information as she shows you the place. So that's kind of her birthday celebration. And I told her, I go, go for it, girl. I'll set the uh, event up. You just have to do it. (laughs) It's an amazing location. I love that location so much. I mean, you walk in there and the energy in that location is amazing. And so I'm, I'm really excited. I can't wait. Yeah, I don't even have to go inside, and my buddy comes outside to me. Sorry, I don't so. understand. Where are we going? <laughs> Sounds like Alexa. You don't have one, though. Nope, I was sorry for some reason on my watch. She didn't understand that your buddy came out and talked to you. Oh, well, yeah. I, Judd is actually my buddy at the Kosciuszko County Jail. I've gone by several times. And, you know, when I'm just in the area, I'll pass by or stop um, a block or two. And he's all like, but I kind of right. think it's Blake. <laughs> I think they've met. Oh, guys, guess what? I have to tell you guys, because I'm super excited about this. So in about three and a half months, four months away. I'm going to be making tri- a trip down to um, Salem, Indiana, 
Mm -hmm. uh, it's about a two, three hour drive from here at my house. And I am finally getting something that I've wanted for a year now. And I'm oh, super nice. excited. She's got a date. Scott it's midday with the chocolate. He is going to be black, uh, brown and white. And his name is Peppy Coco. I am finally getting my pet skunk. I made the down payment on him last week. So I'm super, super excited. And when um, I get him, we will make sure that I'm hoping that it's going to be on the weekend. So if it is, that's awesome. That means like Todd don't have to take time off like work. But if it's not, it's fine. But I will bring him on the show that Sunday after I get him. And because when you get a pet Girl, skunk, guys, she's getting a skunk. <laughs> he'll be seven to eight, seven to eight weeks old. And the first two days after getting a pet skunk, um, that young, you have, you get to like, you have to hold them constantly and everything. So I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I can't wait. He's going to be brown and white. She's wanted one for years, guys. That's all I've heard. I want a skunk. I want a skunk. And me growing up, knowing, call, having them being called woods kitties. <laughs> don't can think of. Linda's going to have a woods kitty in her house. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. And also, guys, if anybody wants a dog, let me know. I have a dog that I've had for too long. I'm on the wait list at the at the shelter to get taken to the shelter. Uh, never again will I do what I did because that was just, it's been a nightmare, literally. But he somehow, guys, okay, so he dashed out the door on us one time. And we were trying to get him to come back inside. And he got hit. Like, literally, he got hit. And... We survived this hit. And the only thing that came out of this hit was some road rash on his front leg. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, how? But anyway, I mean, he's fine. Everything's fine. We checked him out. You know, I was like, okay, if I need to take him to the vet, I'm going to take him to the vet, you know. But he's totally fine. Uh, uh, but he won't go toward the door no more. That's so different. they're actually... Back. He's about three times he's went toward the door, but then he's backed off. But he will nope, no more. I'm like, huh, okay. What happened to your light? Blake. It's back. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't, but now it is. Don't <laughs> Shit like this happens all the time. <laughs> so I'm just like, just sit here long enough and know. So, but yeah, I'm looking to get rid of him. Um, his owner abandoned him. I was supposed to just rehome him for a little bit until she was able to take him. And she hasn't answered me or nothing. So she didn't want him. That's why she got rid of him in the first place. You were an easy out. <laughs> she got told that she had to get rid of him. Mm-hmm. So, yep. And Todd says I have to get rid of him before I get Peppy, which he's mm -hmm. going to be gone before then. So, I'm going to call the shelter on Tuesday to see if they have any room. If they do, he is gone. Good. It's been too long. It's ridiculous. He, I can't let the puppy out of the cage without him being locked up somewhere because he'll fight with the t uh, tank, the kid's his dog. It's not right. Nope. 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 Want to see something's above my computer? See if you can see it. Hold on. Oh. I just redid my hair. And I haven't washed it since Thursday. I mean, I rinsed the conditioner out. <gasps> Look! 
Ricky! <laughs> he's, he's snoring. I don't know if you can hear him, but yeah, mm -mm. he's snoring. <laughs> yeah, I just redid my hair. I'm going to wash it tonight so I can get... But they didn't have my regular hair dye. So I had to go with the, like the red. So I had to, they didn't have the dark red with the hint of purple in it. So I had to go with the, and the red. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's like, <laughs> don't mind me. Like I said, he wanted to say hi. <laughs> it's going to be an all night. Nice. Jesus, negative 27 tonight. That's windshield or actual temperature? I don't know. I didn't say. And it's right now, it's minus one. It feels like a minus 22. Work. It's cold. It is really cold. Sorry, guys. I'm just checking the uh, notifications. Hey, we've been doing pretty good on our TikTok. If you have not started following us on TikTok, you really need to. We are about 70, less than 70, actually, until we hit 1,000. Um, I was, well, let's put it this way. I took a nice snowy drive when it first started getting uh, nice and powdery out this week. What was that, Friday? I think it was Sunday. Yeah, it was Friday, yeah. Went and visited the Syracuse Spirits, as I like to call them, down there at the cemetery. I will, as soon as this weather decides that it's not going to rain or snow, Linda's getting or her ass out. Cold. Huh? Or be you freezing cold. cold. You got a heat jacket. <laughs> I got a new one, too. You got two now, so you can wear one inside the other. <laughs> uh, it was he... <laughs> He went and bought himself another one, and we were talking about it. And he goes, happy birthday. So it was a birthday present. <laughs> but he wasn't. He's like, I was supposed to buy you nothing. I said, technically, you didn't buy me it. Nope. <laughs> you bought it for yourself and just gave it to me because it was too small. It's a Milwaukee heated jacket. So, see, you got a heated jacket. It might not be 70, but your ass is still getting out to Grace Lawn. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> it's nice. It's got um like the back and then it's got the shoulders and it's got a front heat portion. So, so see really she'll nice. be warmer than I will be. <laughs> so, so yeah, we're gonna get out to Gray Salon as soon as the snow breaks and it's not minuses. And then we are going to in Village Cemetery in Cromwell. And then we will be doing the Indianapolis Cemetery in March or April. We're going to do a feature cemetery once a month. That's Ooh. my plan. So at least gets us out in the field and doing stuff. Uh, let's see. I know we're doing Indy, and I'm going to be taking Miss Linda down to 100 steps. Hey, that's on an urban lecture, too. Did you know that? Yep, 100 Steps and Step Cemetery. Those are two different locations. So we'll be heading out to both of those cemeteries. Um, I want When we go down to Step Cemetery, I think I'm going to stop by and we're going to swing by Danville. We might do that if we do, when we do the Moreau House, that or one or the other. We will be doing a day investigation come this spring. I do believe someone has a spring break coming up that yeah, we uh, a day investigation at Randolph. We owe our junior investigator that. We haven't been able to do that with her yet. Uh, we did promise. And we were gonna we want to get her back on camera. So we'll get dates for that. So we have quite a few cemeteries that's on my list. Got some paranormal investigation team ups. Um, another goal of mine for Indiana Crossroad Encounters is to do 
more team ups. So if you're a team and you're out there and you need some extra people just to come out, think of us. We are, we want to go get out there. So their spring break is from April 1st to April 5th. All right. So get me that weekend and we will get her out there. So as soon as we get that date booked, we're ready. They don't have school Monday. Well, so. we have jobs. <laughs> yeah, I had to look for the uh, picture of when they're out and stuff like that because they sent out a picture of the events, like the calendar of events for last year and this year of all the dates that they were supposed to be in and out and Hi. Can I help you? Cassie's like, no. I just want to no. be here. <laughs> She's been trying to suck up because she wants to go outside and I won't let her go outside. I'm only letting the boys go out long as they potty and come back in. It's just too cold. It is. And then with her being short haired, I, I, was, well, I let her out earlier when Todd was outside. And she wasn't even out there five minutes. So blame her. But she's trying to suck up because she wants to go outside. What? Yeah. That's pretty much I mean, we've covered what we I mean, do you have any plans you want to do with um either the podcast or ice that you're kind of looking wanting to do, Miss Linda? Um, I know the podcast was going to do, um, like when we do our locations, tell a little bit of the history about the location and everything. I know a lot of people are like, I don't want to know the history of the locations, but that's just me though. That's me. I literally Hi, have. Hi, Robert. Literally, you know, again, everybody for that's just joined, um, two full binders of locations and trying to see them both and everything and they're just yeah yep so uh, we'll be i'm excited i mean like i said i at least want a guaranteed once a month cemetery investigation i'm doing weekly cemetery walks on our tiktok um you'll see that the tiktok is pretty much it's going to be investigations stuff like that we're keeping any evidence that we can actually film. We're going to transfer over onto there so you can find it there. And if we can get the extra, I want to say, oh, I wonder how many we have left. Like I said, I wasn't on there. We have 65, 65 more uh, followers and we are at 1,000. I cannot wait. That's so amazing. That's literally amazing. Yeah. So. Oh, Evergreen Folder. I mean, we're getting more and more and more followers by the day. And the last video I did in the snow was I have 18, 1,018 1, and 27 views. So that's pretty good. We're doing pretty good. It is. Pretty, it is. Really awesome. down, yeah. Um, we was planning on getting out into the field yesterday, but uh, hell no. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Hell oh, no. Yeah. It's too damn cold outside. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but I yeah. was out and out and I went to my mom's. I did do a quick Facebook live to show you guys the snowy lake. And give you a little bit of history, just to give Linda. It was pretty much to give Linda a taste of what's out there. <laughs> so I now know she's going to start doing the bloody history of Lake Chapman in Warsaw. That's going to be her next thing. <laughs> she's going to go local death history. And I, what I also found out is at the Warsaw City Hall, the original City Hall building, there is a plaque. Talking about that actress's death from the rowboat. If you missed the live yesterday on Facebook, you need to go out and go and check it out. 
because I am assigning Linda the uh, challenge to look that up, find out more information about the death and the trial, and then we're going to do an investigation from my mother-in-law's front porch. Ooh, I can't wait. And we can't go wait. Out there wait. Anytime we want. She's got heat. <laughs> oh. We'll wait until after the freeze, like the negative temperatures go away. Because my computer says it's negative one right now. So Yeah, it's, it's minus one and then it feels like third twenty mi minus twenty nine. So, yeah. Sorry. So everybody stay safe out there and stay warm. And do not go out not unless you absolutely, absolutely have to. Like I didn't go anywhere today. Um I went to Todd, Walmart. Todd had to go out to town to get some 911 for his for Clifford and some heat That's for my team. Huh? For anyone who doesn't know what Clifford is, that's his truck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, he built that one from ground up, so and everything, and yeah. Uh, yeah. We got about 20 some minutes. I'll go ahead and quickly run through this little new moon report and see what you guys think. If it's something you want to keep, let me know. If you want to keep. Hey, I'm ready to go down there. I'm, I'm ready. Feeling. Let's go. We're going to come down and see what you got out of that. I, I want some heat. I want some heat. Yes. Uh, it is too cold up here. But yeah. I will. I will fly for the first time time ever in my life 31 years i've never been on an airplane i will fly for that one we will be changing that next year don't worry about it i've already got plans started we're gonna be traveling to a new location new state new okay location. so i don't need a passport then because i don't have a passport because i don't have a passport only because i do not fly guys i've never You're flown in my life so yeah I wasn't going to no. say this until the end, but next year, for my birthday, I will be 44 next year. I am taking Linda and I are going to the Canadian side of Niagara Falls. Ooh. And we're investigating. That's what that's my birthday investigation next year. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> So we'll be working on passports and getting plans and the first weekend in May, we're going to go to Canada. We could drive and see a lot more stuff. We might drive. We don't know. I don't know yet, but uh, I might. we've got time. So but I'm treating myself this year to my birthday. It's going to be two months late to the Gettysburg bash. So that's going to be fun. But I'm going to go ahead and jump into this new moon. Okay, so January 11th, this past Tuesday, the new moon started exactly at 6.57 a.m. Eastern Standard Time right here in Indiana. So kind of give you, I might hold on my eyeballs here for a second. I can see. My eyeballs are messing up for some reason. <laughs> They're brand new contacts. All right. So just a little something. Each new moon is the beginning of a fresh lunar cycle. This new moon, it's all about you. It's all about each individual person. Uh, to start off, I'm going to start with the Capricorns just because I'm kind of biased and I have someone's birthday coming up. <laughs> no taking the barrel rides. Oh, no <laughs> barrel rides for us, Robert. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> no. <laughs> So let's go ahead and dig into some Capricorn. You troublesome people. <laughs> actually, this is actually a good time for you, Capricorns. You're going to start recognizing yourselves and pushing yourself harder by um, with each given day at work. And it's going to you're going to start seeing it pay off more and more in your value of your value of your at work and the value of your um, time at home. So, but don't push yourselves too hard. Otherwise, you're going to blow yourselves out and you're not going to have enough, any energy to achieve your goal by the next new moon. So there you go, Capricorn. I'm going to move this over just for a bit so I can actually. So, 
about like more of the new year okay so this is something like with capricorns and everything and i'm gonna go get this book that i've seen i didn't buy it but i'm gonna go back and get it so something that i had read in this book and it's all about just one sign like they have their each of individual signs sorry not to interrupt you but this reminded me of something and it's really important it goes along with the new moon information so I read in this book that was just for Capricorns that this year, if any Capricorn has medications and stuff like that, make sure you check with your your pharmacist to make sure that your prescriptions are correct in any way, shape, or form. Because it is going to be something along the lines of you get shorted for a medication or you get over a med, you know, they give you numbers too much are medication. important to Capricorns this year. Huh? Numbers are in, is a major priority for Capricorns. They need to stay on top of stuff. Right. So that that's why sorry to mean to interrupt you, but that's like something important because I'm on medications, as we all know. And so just making sure that you're on the right medications, making sure that, you know, even if you have to Google the little number on your own pills making sure that the counts are correct and, you know, double have somebody double check those counts and everything. So it's important for the Capricorns this year. So Aquarius, it's something's holding you back. You know what it is. You've been, it's been gnawing at you for probably months now. It's time to dig deep and pull that out and make it happen. Quicker you do, the more successful that adventure will be. Uh, Pisces, right now community is actually really important to you guys. So reach reach out to family you haven't talked to, friends, like you know, just everybody that that used to be a support system and you th keep thinking, oh, I need to get a hold of contact. Get a hold of contact. Community is going to be your real main goal um, for this year. Aries, let's see. No, I had I had Capricorn and Aquarius. I got these numbered so I don't see this. <laughs> no, I'm not going shuffling. And I'm still shuffling. Aries, it's all about making bold moves between last Tuesday and the next new moon. You have a time gap of where you can make your bold moves without being very with low consequences. So don't hold yourself back and make yourself shine. Taurus, well, here's where I'm screwed. <laughs> so That's it's about so new project skills and many different changes and paths. Things are going to be popping up in front of you. Don't get confused. It's, it's all, it'll all happen in good time, but stay focused. Doesn't sound like me at all. <laughs> it does not. And it's really weird because I wore my dangly earrings, their uh, crescent moons and stuff today. What y'all <laughs> doing the new moon report? All right, Gemini, you do, you troublesome twin. This is your transfer transformation um, time. Something you have physically been pushing, physically and mentally pushing in the back burner, saying, oh, I'll get to that, I'll get to that, I'll get to that. Your time's about ready to expire. It, so it is time to get to things that you have pushed on. You, by the new moon, it'll be too late. So dig deep and focus. I know a few people like that, don't you? Oh, yeah. All right, Cancer. This new moon is all about relationships. Being single, being paired, friends or family, doesn't matter. It's all about relationships. Doesn't matter if it's who you're going to bed with or if it's who you're waking up getting to school in the morning. How's that for you? <laughs> some you're going to start feeling that some relationships are slipping, but at the same time, your energy is ramping up. So maybe tighten up those relationship strings and hunker down for the next uh, new moon. And Leo, it is time to double down on self care. Your organization skills and your daily routine is totally out of whack. So this sounds familiar to you. Um, so, Jaden. Yeah. 
Uh oh, Jaden, you in trouble? <laughs> so you have enough wind in your sails to refine and tweak at this time. So it is a it's a great time to actually take note or write something down. Say this is what needs to happen. Uh oh, she's talking to her son. All right, Virgo, you've really been holding back. My husband's a Virgo. Oh, uh, he didn't like this. So Virgo, you, you, there's something you're really passionate about, and it's time to get serious and let your creative expression go. Mm -mm. Be heard, and don't be afraid of getting out there. Um, and I think that was Virgo. Yeah. Libra, it's it's time to be center stage. You like to fall back into the background and focus on the friends, the family, and the home, and the roof. Now time to take all three of those and let yourself shine. You have enough energy to put yourself on a pedestal and make yourself first, but also stay connected to your friends, family, and roof during that time. <laughs> That's what Todd is. Todd's a Libra. <laughs> Scorpio communications. We all know it's not easy for you guys. This new moon is going to make it a, if you actually set your stop setting yourself up to fail and start communi communicating with people. This new moon is going to help you with the goal, uh, main goals that you have for the rest of the year. But unless you start asking for help or, hey, what do you think? You're setting yourself up to fail. So, Scorpios, make sure you ask. Talk to people. And Sagittarius. Hello, Anne. If I'm saying your name right. And <laughs> Iva? Eva? Ooh. Hello. Sorry. Hi. And we're going to round it out with Sagittarius. Sagittarius, this is the time where your doors and your opportunity is getting ready to come into. Let me get, I am. Uh, uh, yeah, I totally just messed up. This is like doors of opportunity is starting to open up. You really need to pay attention, start seeing, thinking about your investment. Okay, I don't know what happened. Did I, some, we cut out. I don't know. I don't know. You, we start, we said hi <laughs> to Anne, and then we just went, whoop, cut out. I think we're back. I think we are too. Sorry. See, I told you it would not be Toxic Chaos Podcast without some kind of technical difficulty. But we All made right. it almost a whole show without it. But, uh, so, yeah. Sagittarius so, is that what you ended with? Yep, Sagittarius. Many doors are opening for the opening opportunities are open. You really need to pay attention and start thinking of investments. Investments be in your budget. Um, management of time and resources. So that is the new, this new moon report. So Linda will be doing the full moon. I'll get that ready for you. So she'll be reading the full moon report. Oh, for you. <laughs> 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 this new, new, this moon segment thing we're going to do is I'm doing the new moon uh, and Linda's reading the new, the full moon. So it's something that we both are into. And we're going to add it to our podcast this year. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, we can try to do our best by answer a question for you. Yeah. And I did not pop up on my slide. My Thank screen. you, Robert. I don't see it up so. here. Wait, what's going on? Like, huh? Comments? I don't. I'll. The last one I see is hi Ann from Robert. So, but if you can see, I'm popping them on the screen. But yeah, if you can ask Ann. It's fine. We can try to answer some questions. Yeah. So we have ten minutes left. So, yeah. Shoot away. But yeah, guys, I seen this book at Spirit Halloween when we went, and it called to me, and I finally got it. And I have not read. I have. I flipped through it, but I haven't read it yet. Um, I got it on Kindle and I've read it twice. Yeah, okay, yeah, we have to it's on Kindle, but I wanted the physical copy. You said you hadn't read it yet, but I've told you I just read. I've read it twice. That's why I have decided we're going to start doing this moon report. I'll do new, you'll do full, and we're just going to make it all fun this year. 
right right i mean i have to read through it but it called to me and so i'm gonna read through it i'm gonna actually actually read read it um so but yeah i don't know why but it just called to me so it's one of my it's one of my favorite books and mort i don't know where you're at but hi more because i know you're gonna see this he's probably um, i'm gonna finally take that book that he sent me out of the wrapping i've had in it because i have cleansed it and everything and it's still good so it's gonna be exciting I mean, I've seriously, I've had it wrapped up. I don't even know where it's at at the present time. Oh, I've had it wrapped up since the 4th of July. No, Memorial Day. Yeah. And everything's been going good. So I'm going to take it out of its wrapping. And because Mort sent me a book. Actually, here, let me find it. Ooh, she's going to unpackage it live, guys. I'm going to take these off so I don't see circle. Actually, no. It's already unpackaged. It just slipped out of the casing. So oh, he said, me. it's dusty. So since I'm into history and everything, and he more is one of our biggest followers on the show. He's been here since day one. Um, sent me literally sent me this book and the energy that's coming off of it is really good. It's all good now. Like, I don't feel anything negative now, Sean L. And it's got nothing but a bunch of history in it. It wants to be read, yeah. Um, because it's got the Lola Ree house in it. And we were talking about that one show. And he literally, I, I've never been sent anything from anybody in the paranormal community. And he actually sent me this book. And I was so... I was Real. so touched. And... Like, we argued about it, about sending it to me. She did for like a half hour with this with, with him. Poor Mar, he's like, I'm not hearing it. Yep. <laughs> You're getting it. To me. And there was some stuff that had to happen with it. We cleansed it and everything, and I packaged it, and it just slipped right out of the packaging now, and nothing negative is coming off of it. So, but yeah, it's got a bunch of like history in it. So, this is Linda's here year of history and if she doesn't post something every two weeks guess what i, I have over 200 okay so if anybody and things network has a location that they would like to hear about just for fun let me know and i will do it um i started the history when i was 13 and i'm thir going 31 i'm gonna say 31 because it's two days away <laughs> she's gonna be 31 so yep i'm she's very excited turn 30. now you will not believe what she's getting herself for her 31st birthday an ovulus oh yeah and it's gone I am. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. so hold on hold on so i am super excited guys Getting herself an ovulus. And it's, and it's black and red. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> yep, and I'm going to it's it's quite expensive, but I plan on getting a secondary rope this year. Um so we'll have 66 feet. No. 72. Yeah, 72 feet of lighted rope, EMF rope. We'll have, we're going to have a lot of flashy stuff this year. I have some ideas. And we'll get a few more yeah. rim pods. Attic Junkie is going to be my friend. And I'm getting my time capsule fixed so we can play with that. Periology finally got a hold of me and he's fixing that. I haven't had it for over a year, guys. It's been kind of sucked. And where you're doing, I have come up with a an experiment, and I ordered. <laughs> let's just put it this way. 
it has to do with handcuffs. And I ordered them today. We have done something like that. We would put it in like a circle and we would stand like in the middle of the circle. And I actually, I want to say, I'll have to go through my videos on my phone because we did this in a similar video. We do mm -hmm. have video of it. Um, actually, guys, let, I'm going to have to get my camcorder out because when we had Maya with this, our junior investigator at the jail with us, she was recording it. And she caught some really good stuff with our with our um, wire. Yep, because, trip wire. That's what it yeah, is. Yeah, trip wire. And she was catching it, so it was like it wasn't spiraled, but it was like no. We so had it. We had it S curved. We was in a, a solitary confinement cell, and this cell is completely steel. On the second floor of the old Kosciuszko County Jail. We will be doing this thing um, Saturday, but I'm going to I have an experiment with a spirit box and I lights. I'm desensitizing Linda. She's going to go under red light, handcuffed to the cell, and she's going to do a solo in there for 20 minutes. So I get, we get to film. I'll, okay. Live will be going during this time. She gets to pick anywhere in the jail from the residence hall up top all the way down to the uh, padlock. Just don't lose the key. Don't lose the key. <laughs> no, I plan on putting it. I changed, I changed out my necklace. I'm going to put it with my necklace. So I'll be wearing, but yeah, our colors are mainly red. So you know what I got? Red handcuffs. <laughs> We're going to do that little experiment. So we're going to be doing some different stuff. It is a short investigation. It's only from 6 to 11. It will be next Saturday. So right here, Eastern Time. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm really, really excited to go back. That's one of my favorite locations, guys. Mm -hmm. It's right here. Between Linda and I is Warsaw. And we've always said we're out of Warsaw simply because that's kind of like the center area. That's where we meet up in. Like, we'll go, let's meet in town. Okay, we're at in Warsaw. So it's downtown Warsaw. And I'll have to pull some photos and do a TikTok of us with photos of. You'll have to get me some too. And we'll do so a pre on. I'm a picture taker, guys. So I have pictures upon pictures upon pictures of locations. And if you guys have ever, actually, if you look at our, uh, is it our, I think it's our um, cover photo on Facebook where our shirt, we're like flipped backwards because I, um, our yes. shirts have cock freaking, like cock and then our logo. So, we were at an event last year and we, you know, we were, our arms were hooked and they, you know, took a picture. So that is our actual cover photo. And you'll see in the background of that picture, the poster boards that have us on them plus the locations. That's what I do for our, um, when we do Indiana Crossroads is make a poster board or poster boards um, of us from the beginning until present day and of the locations and stuff like that so well i hate to cut this one short it is we are the first time back for the year we are excited and um, but it is our time to go so the next show can start so thank you for joining us and as always stay spooky and we'll see you at the crossroad bye guys